Hello there, everybody. I am up here in Plover, Wisconsin. I'm on the Ice Age Trail at Dells of the Eau Claire State Park. And it's a 2.6 mile loop, so not too long today. Went uh, rock hounding, looking for some moonstone earlier today, so uh, a little tired from doing that, and I don't have a whole lot of time before I gotta get heading back home, so. Thought I'd make a quick video on doing this little hike. So, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> pretty. It's one of the nice things about Wisconsin is all the wonderful trails and state parks that we have. All the Ice Age trail segments that I've been on have all been pretty nice. Looks like it continues this way. On a trail that runs that way. Okay, so the trail actually does come down here, not not continue that way. So good thing I checked my map. So I could have gone the other way too. Just uh, this trail follows the river, so stick with the program today. such a nice sound being down by a river or running creek
That's a really cool forest. You can see that there's some people with some RC vehicles there. And it's like the third or fourth people that I've, I've seen out here. And I guess there's a, a local group and they, and they do this thing where they bring their RC cars out here and they just kind of drive them around. And Man, that is awesome. Looks like that'd be a lot of fun. If only I had an RC car, but it's a, it's a cool idea for some of you folks out there that may have uh, some RC vehicles. Consider taking them to a park like this, maybe finding a local group and Actually, quite a bit of people out here today, walking their dogs and you know, with their RC vehicles. See, right? It's a pretty, it's a pretty nice park. It's a trail on the other side of the river that I'll probably be taking on the way back. to a point up here where I'll have the uh, crossing over and I'm taking that back. So. A lot of bugs, of course, I didn't use my repellent today. Silly me. This is very cool. I'm digging it. It's like a natural, it's like a natural little seat right here. I'm trying to be mindful and not really get anybody in the in the video here. <laughs> I think it'd be a little better to come out here during the weekday. Time in the earlier morning when there's not so many people out here. It's really nice place. There's like this trail right here you can follow, and there's also a trail just right up here you can follow there running parallel to each other, so. Prefer to be closer to the river if I can. Wow, oh, that's a great view there. That's awesome.
crouch down there. Looks like there's a, yeah, there's a little, there's a little bridge up here. Should take me across to the other side. Right, meet you guys at the top. Alrighty, well here we are at the top. And we got a bridge right by the road, so you gotta be careful. Looks like we fouled a little bit, and then we just cross it. On the other side, it appears to be quite a few people in there, so we'll Let's get a best view from here. That looks to be a popular little hangout spot. The trail continues down this way, but we're on a on a loop trail, so it brings us back to the car, but normally you just keep going. I think this is like a five mile segment. Uh, well, maybe longer if you if you do the one way point A to point B. All right, I'm gonna avoid all the people and go this way. Right here on the other side. This is really nice view. A little bit higher perspective. All right, looks like we can scurry up this cliff here. People fishing down here to my left. Not sure if they're catching anything. Hope so.
was fun part. Getting back down. I was just checking to make sure I was on the right trail and I look up and I seen the the old trail marker so that means I'm going the right way on the Ice Age Trail. <laughs> Sage trails have such a nice natural rustic charm to them. They try not to alter things too much. And for the most part, people are pretty respectful. These uh, little benches views give us. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Be a nice spot to read a book. So this must be where all the cool kids hang out. <laughs> yeah, we got a trail down here. We have a, a trail up there. I'm gonna wait for some of these people to pass on by and then I think I'll take this trail down here. The road less traveled. See some people with the RCs over there. I think I actually prefer, prefer the other side of the the river, the trails, to this side. They're both okay, I just, just kind of like the other side better. Already back at the back at the bridge here, so just kind of that's where I just came from a second ago. This is where I, I started out on the on the trail for the most part. Cross this bridge here, and then you follow the river that way. Take another bridge, come back this way, and uh, just kind of follow like a campground up there for the most part. So yeah, you basically just come up from this way here. And uh, that's where I went down the first time. After the bridge is at, you can hear the water. And this is where I just came up this time. And then you get to a spot where you just kinda follow the road for a little bit. I wasn't expecting there to be so many people out here today at a 
kind of like a more remote places that I've been to for the Ice Age Trail, and so I wasn't expecting to see so many people out here, but after coming here, I can see why it's really a special place. I haven't seen too many mushrooms on my walk today, but I do see a couple here. On the walk back, I figured I could share this uh, piece of moonstone that the lady at the at the shack gave me at the, at the moonstone place. Real nice lady. Made sure everybody had snacks and drinks and donuts and coffee. And can't say enough nice things about the Wisconsin moonstone. But yeah, she let me pick out a nice tumble. That was really cool of her. It's a really pretty piece. So. Let's check these guys out. These guys. That's a pretty big mushroom. Mosquitoes are very bad out here today. Alrighty, coming out of the woods. Thank goodness, because the mosquitoes were terrible. It's my fault because I didn't use the repellent that I, I made sure that I brought with. People, when I just get out of the car, I just want to get out on the trails and start hiking. So, I have a tendency to forget some silly things. I always make sure I got my, my phone, my keys, my wallet, and make sure I got, you know, drinks and snack. But, some of the other things like sunscreen and bug repellent, I'll forget. So the map that I was using is kind of confusing, leading you through the parking lot. Yeah, basically, you just kind of get back that way and then it takes you out into the woods out that way, but it's kind of confusing as to where to go. It took me a moment to, to figure it out. Alrighty, I'm back in the car. Thank everybody for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the hike. Until next time, take care and rock on.